Hey, it's ACAP. Today you're going to learn how to sync Logic and Pro Tools. First, install IP MIDI. Then, open Audio MIDI Setup, view the MIDI Studio window, open IP MIDI, and check the Loopback box. In Logic MIDI Sync Preferences, check all the boxes under MIDI Machine Control. Output and ID should be 127. In MIDI Sync Project Settings, check Transmit MTC under MIDI Timecode, choose IP MIDI Port 1, and check Transmit MMC under MIDI Machine Control. Under General, take note of the frame rate. You'll need Pro Tools to be at the same frame rate later. It doesn't matter what the frame rate is, as long as it's the same between Logic and Pro Tools. Keep Logic's start timecode at one hour for the sake of this example. In Pro Tools Peripheral Setup, under Synchronization, set the MTC reader and generator to IP MIDI port 1. Under Machine Control, check Enable under MIDI Machine Control Remote Slave. The ID should be set to 127. Hit the clock to the left of the transport controls so that Pro Tools is listening for MTC. Make sure the frame rate and start time code are the same as in Logic. Because Pro Tools is listening for MTC, if you hit play in Logic, Pro Tools should catch up after a couple seconds and be playing in sync with Logic. And because Pro Tools is also listening for MMC, when you stop Logic and move the playhead around, the playhead in Pro Tools will move to the same location. Since we opened Logic first, that makes Logic the master and Pro Tools the slave. If you want Pro Tools to control Logic, you need to quit both programs and open Pro Tools before opening Logic. Let's try that now. In Pro Tools, right click the control bar and make sure synchronization is added or just click all. Click the MTC button so that Pro Tools is now sending MTC. The clock button should no longer be flashing, indicating that Pro Tools is not listening for MTC. In Logic's MIDI Sync project settings, under MIDI timecode, uncheck Transmit MTC. Right-click the control bar and click Customize Control Bar and Display. Under Modes and Functions, add the Sync button. Click the Sync button so it turns blue, which indicates that Logic is listening for MTC. If you hit Play in Pro Tools, Logic should now follow along. One application of this is to keep an entire film in Pro Tools while working on an individual cue in Logic or or your DAW of choice. You might only use Pro Tools for video, or you might want to have the video in Logic as well. You'd have to use the same video file that's in Pro Tools synced to the same start time code, but of course Logic might have bar 1 or whatever bar you'd like to sync to set to a different time code for the start of your queue. If you have the video file in both Logic and Pro Tools, the video engine in Pro Tools may stop working if you open Pro Tools after Logic is already opened with the video in it. The solution to this is to open the Logic project first, and then immediately open your Pro Tools session before Logic has finished loading all the way. This technique doesn't just apply to Logic. As long as you can find the respective MTC and MMC options in your DAW of choice, you can have any sequencer interact with Pro Tools in this way. I'm indebted to Kyle Miller on the VI Control forums for a great detailed post on how to do this. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Check the description for links and more info, leave a comment if you need clarification, and please share if you think this can be helpful to someone else. Until next time, stay tuned.